In April of this year, I had a follower message me on Instagram, and she said that she was friended by a Facebook profile that was using my images and pretending to be me, but under a different name. She immediately recognized my photos and sent the screenshot along to me, and I said, no problem, I will go report it, and hopefully Facebook will take it down. This happens to me a lot, as it does happen to other influencers or bloggers or people who are just on the web in general. When you put your photos out there or your work out there, people copy it and use it without asking for permission. It happens all the time, and people even go the extra mile to try and impersonate you to connect with people or to extort money out of people. It's a sick world, and if you've watched an episode of Catfish, I'm sure you understand exactly what I'm talking about. What's even more disturbing about the situation is that I've learned that that fake profile has been using my images for the past six years. Facebook didn't take the page down, it was actually up for a couple more days and so I asked my followers on Facebook and Instagram to go report the page for me to help me take it down. And within a couple of minutes, Facebook, I guess, saw the increasing number of requests to report that profile and they took the page down almost immediately. So I was a little relieved. Before I had reported the page to be taken down, I actually sent a message to the fake profile kindly asking them to stop using my photos, which works in a lot of cases and I feel like it's the nice thing to do, but that's where I went wrong because within a couple of days, somehow Facebook had reactivated their account and they saw my message and they came for me. I don't know how they were able to get Facebook to take down my page, but within a couple of days of them being back, I went to log into my Facebook account and I couldn't. I got a message from Facebook when I tried to log in saying that my account was taken down for impersonating someone else. They said that if it was a mistake, that I could send in proof of identification to prove that I am who I say I am and that I'm not impersonating anyone. So I did. Now how Facebook handles with these kinds of requests or these kinds of appeals is through an automated help portal. You don't actually talk to anyone at Facebook. It's a support inbox that allows you to upload photos aka forms of identification. Now keep in mind, this was in April. This is at the height of when Facebook was going through it with their users because they had a huge data breach and people's information was getting into the hands of advertisers and companies that the people didn't actually allow them to access. But my Facebook page was important to me. And not only was my Facebook page important to me, but my business page, my blog page, my Natalie in the City page, was also important to me as I had amassed 10,000 followers and worked hard to build that following over the course of the last five years. And since my personal page was gone and I was the admin on my business page, that page was also gone too. A lot of people said, oh well, just start over, it's just Facebook, or you don't really need a Facebook. But if you think about it, Facebook for the past 10 years has been a chronicle and a time capsule of everything that's happened in my life, whether it be social things, personal things, family things, and important data that I don't just want erased. It's kind of personal. So even though Facebook was going through it with the data breach, I decided to send them my driver's license, my social security card, my birth certificate, and a copy of my college degree, which is what they asked me to send. I didn't receive a response for several days and so I decided to send my proof of identification in again and again and again and again. So about five submissions later, I finally get a message from Facebook, again it's automated, and it says, send us a photo of you holding these forms of identification and we will proceed. And so I'm like, great, this is progress, this is, someone's seen it at Facebook and they're going to reinstate my profile. But again. Once I sent the photos, the proof of identification, I hadn't heard anything for weeks. I told myself to be patient, to just trust the process. Eventually they would let me have my Facebook page back because that was the right thing to do. I was submitting my social security card, my ID, all of these sensitive documents that truly prove I am who I say I am, and Facebook has no choice but to give my page back to me, right? Well, wrong. 
So after not hearing from them for two months, I decide to resubmit my photo of me holding my identification again. And finally, I get a message back that says, you submitted your proof of identification to the wrong channel. I was confused because I was just submitting it to the channel that it prompted me to when I logged in. I didn't really have a choice of which channel to submit this information to. It was the one that was automatically routed to me through my login page. I respond to the help portal, which I know is automated, saying, which channel should I submit to? I got no response, so I just decided to submit my identification again. And over the course of the next two or three months, I kept submitting my identification. This whole time has been so frustrating, and it's also made me wonder how the fake profile actually got their profile back. If they had to submit proof of identification, how could they have gotten access to an ID or a social security card that had their name on it, but my photo? And how did they get back so fast when I've been waiting months and months and months for Facebook to review my documents? I didn't know what to do, so I turned to Twitter and I started tweeting Facebook. Immediately, I had an outpour of messages and tweets from other people who were experiencing the same thing. Facebook had deactivated their real profile pages for impersonating others. And one man who reached out to me said, submit your stuff one last time and wait two months. Don't message them repeatedly. Just submit it and wait it out. So that's what I did. And last week, after waiting not two months, but three months, radio silence, I received an email from PayPal saying that Facebook had terminated our business agreement or something to that extent, which was tied to my business page. And so immediately I went to try and log into Facebook and I didn't get the login that said that my account had been deactivated. I got a notification that said, this email address does not exist. Meaning my Facebook account was no longer just deactivated. It was gone for good. The support inbox that I had sent all of my inquiries to and the very extremely personal and sensitive information to was gone. It said the page could not be found and I was just in a panic. And this whole time of me having to try and fight Facebook or get my profile back, the fake profile has been posting every single day. And they post photos of me from my blog, they repost old photos that they uploaded and Facebook is letting them. And the fact that they were relentless in getting their page back once it was deactivated makes me feel like they've built relationships with people through that platform and by using my images. Which also makes me think that there could be a possibility that they're extorting people. So I don't really know what to do next. I guess I'm telling my story to you guys to urge you to one, Make sure you download a copy of your Facebook profile in case anything like this happens. You have that data and those personal messages, your photos, your memories, all to yourself. Because at the end of the day, it really is just a social media platform and it shouldn't mean that much to us. But the reality is it does. We upload everything on there. We have important conversations. For those of us who have business pages, we make business contacts, we network, we create these beautiful businesses and we trust Facebook with all of our information and it just so happens that they've mishandled it countless number of times since I don't know I would say the beginning of this year and probably even a lot longer since there were fake profiles interfering with politics here in the United States and the election it's been in the news that Facebook has been cracking down on fake profiles and since April they've actually deleted more than 1 billion fake profiles from their network and my real profile was one of those pages. <laughs> For those of you who've been trying to reach out to me on Facebook, uh, yeah, there's a reason why you can't find me anymore and it's because my page doesn't exist. Not by choice, but by the choice of Facebook. For now, you can follow me on Instagram and you can also keep up with my blog, natalieinthecity.com. But I'm a little hesitant to return to Facebook with full force and I'm hoping that somehow Facebook will realize that they made a mistake and they will reactivate my real profile and they will take down the fake profile that's been impersonating me for the past six years. So, with that, I say, see you later, but not on Facebook.